Okay, so hi honeys, how are you? Tanya Shiloh here. Welcome back to my channel. Just from filming, um, uh, just from filming a kind of a financial video, just unveiling how much money I've been able to make from sponsorship. Let me first switch off this, guys, because it's taking. Okay. So whenever I film, I finish filming, I have to switch off that thing because it is terrible when it comes to uh, making the place very, very hot. But all the aside, I'm just from filming a video talking about how much money I've been able to make uh, from YouTube so far where I am at this place. And I just felt it like, let me start this vlog when I'm not looking like someone who's the uncle from bed, you know. I'm already an uncle, I think so. Yes, I'm going to be just an uncle again for the second time or the third time. But I want to just start this vlog when I'm looking cute, when I'm looking amazing, you know. So, uh, if this is the first time, by the way, you're watching my face over here. Hi there, I'm Tanya Shylock, Ugandan content creator. Um, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share out with friends and family, and all that other stuff. So, uh, for today's vlog, or actually in this week's vlog, I want it to be a little bit. Uh, um, of a longer vlog you know i just want it to be a little bit of a longer vlog that's why i'm starting it actually today on a sunday if you don't know i usually upload my vlogs one of these days on uh on monday because i found out that most of you guys on monday i'll just switch off these lights over here i found out that you guys most of you on monday especially currently we are, we are in lockdown you fix time to sit down and actually watch the vlogs that's why actually i'm starting it today and uh I'm very very excited whenever whenever we are having a new vlog my heart pumps because I feel like I have to be showing you more I have to be doing more so currently I'm going to just get and glam by the way I'm just from from shooting some pictures for a particular company which currently I'm working with is that is Ayocha Beauty if you don't know anything about Ayocha Beauty I'll just sit down yes let me just sit down if you don't know anything about Ayocha Beauty Ayocha Beauty is a beauty online company beauty and 
cosmetic online company and they deal in providing you authentic and yet very very affordable makeup products you know they have a whatsapp shop i'm gonna be leaving their number on the screen and in the description box below on top of that they also have a website yes i'm also gonna be linking it in the description box below they provide products such as uh foundation maybelline foundation uh, eyeshadow palettes maybelline uh, lip paint uh you know uh nail paint a lot of other products so just make sure that you pass over there show them some love and of course uh there is no need to move from any location currently in kampala we are in lockdown uh just order on whatsapp shop if you are not able to use the website and goods will reach on to you in a click you know yes so uh the truth is uh i'm just trying to fix this thing on here so the truth is is or zoom the truth is this phone is let me see the battery the battery is around 11 the battery is around 11 and it has been warning me all day to go and uh you know to see even before i started filming this video it was already at around 30 and if you know me i really love to film my videos when my battery it's, a, it's at 100 you know and yet also i have to post on instagram at around 6 i usually post on instagram one of these days at around 6 because uh i came to a point that i realized that most of you guys at around 6 you are very very active and you actually love uh, the pictures and you love all that instagram content if that makes sense so i'm going to sit down edit the pictures for this company which i have to be posting on my social media my instagram and uh clean up this place especially here we have been filming and i charge this phone so and also guys my snake plant is surviving i'm very very happy i occasionally now these days take it out for more than i think uh 45 minutes in the sun because i think i read some pdf or some some document when teaching about or giving some information about snake plants that when they are new into the house they tend to have leaves drop and yet the leaves had started dropping i don't know if i broke that news if not yet uh when i read that i started taking them out into the sun for 45 minutes and there there has been a change since then and yes i love this very very much so let me set up this camera clean up and we go so you guys actually i'm done my battery is almost off almost off and i'm still vlogging look at me oh god you guys actually i'm done at least uh trying to organize everything i'm happy about that factor another thing i wanted to say if you know me you know that i love writing and i love scripting down everything like before actually i make any video if you are very critical you realize that i have planned all the video on paper currently i got this black book over here and uh i'll just put you down somewhere to be able to show you this this is the black book i was talking about i bought this recently and uh, can you see this guys any tip for any youtuber out there please plan your content plan your content this is a new black book i have the old black books that i usually write in but this is the current one i love to plan every video i think the only videos that i don't plan but i also think i plan they are vlog videos because vlog videos you just vlog your life for these ones for most of other vlog for all most of other videos i try my best to see that at least i uh i try my best to see that at least i script because when you script any video it is easier and simpler for you to film different parts because if you know i don't have a lot of storage on my phone <laughs> to be able to waste it on a lot of uh, non-useless things so when whenever i plan it's easier for me to film and uh film the important things only that i'm going to be including in a particular vlog okay okay so let me take this phone and i charge it before it completely goes off
So good morning guys. Um it's actually the next day. I hope that you are fine, amazing and yes. So for this day in particular, my hair is a mess. I actually need to go and uh have a haircut very very soon because I just feel like this hair now what's doing? I'm not used to it. But anyway, uh today I have uh I don't have a lot of things to be doing, but actually I have some things to be doing. By the way, just woke up this morning, checked on the other video Video for which I uploaded I think two days ago the video which was for the house that the studio showing the studio and all that I want to say a very very big thank you thank you for the love and support on that video I never thought that that video even would generate a hundred views in a single day it did thank you very much and I uh, thank you for all the comments for people who commented I really appreciated them a lot and uh, it was one thing that I really got so so excited about of course but of course as I told you today is going to be be another day in my life of course we are in lockdown i think today it's day number 13 14 or 15 of 42 days of lockdown that my president put i'm very happy to also tell you guys that the numbers for covid 19 patients in government hospitals and in private hospitals have been incredibly reducing and the rate at which uh, the virus has been sp spreading over here in kampala and uh, mukono it has also reduced to keep in just keep that in mind that kampala and and, and Mukono were some of the districts which were like a month they go very very highly and highly affected and also the death toll or the death numbers have also reduced and uh, I want to thank every person who is doing his or her own part in order to combat this uh, thing because uh, we need to come together so that we can you know eradicate all this but all tea aside guys um Today, I have some things to be doing. I have to be editing a vlog, which is supposed to be going up again this week. I don't know when. And also, I have to be uh, cooking because today it's my turn for cooking. So hopefully, I'll take you on some journey of me cooking. So what I'm going to be cooking, by the way, I'll just tell you from diving before I go out. I'm going to be cooking meat. Yes, beef. Matoke and rice. I think so. That's what we are going to be cooking for di for for lunch. Yes, for lunch and hopefully for also dinner. Because the way how we love to do it here, it is that we cook uh, once. Yes, we cook once, and when we cook once, we cook enough food which will be able to be for for lunch and for supper. Yes. So also, I have to be doing my workout uh, today because by the way, people we are asking how actually I do my workout. I don't do. I don't work out every day of the week. No. Uh, it's just because on days that I'm working out, that's the days that I vlog myself doing so. But actually, it's not like that. I work out something like four times a week. Monday, I skip one day wednesday i skip one day uh friday skip one day sunday just like that most of the time i uh because sometimes i get too lazy not to do that but uh when i don't do like in two days i, I try to compensate if that makes sense so that is that is it guys and uh yeah so and also guys um i ordered uh these scented sticks over here from uh, a nearby shopping center around my place you guys, these ones, I think they are better than the other ones, which I told you last time. These ones are made from Lil Petals. Lil Petals, yes. Maybe Molivia Petals, if that makes sense. This is how they look. And I feel like the length you get with this is also a little bit, uh, you know, much than the other one. They smell so, so good. So, so good. I usually love to uh, light up these ones, especially in the morning, because they help me set my tone. They help me, you know, put me in the mood for that day and all that other stuff. So I'm going to be um, lighting this so that it can make this place smell like, you know, smell like this day so that I can be in the mood to do what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, you guys, this smells so, so good. It smells completely very, very amazing. And uh, uh, by the way, 
Oh, I don't know if it's only me who really loves these scented sticks, but uh, I've been a fan for a very, very, very long time. I think if you saw some of my vlogs back then in 2019, I usually used to talk about those scented sticks and uh, I'm in love with that particular note of little petals in that one in particular. So currently I want to move out because I want to accomplish that, then see where the vlog is taken.
something nice, yes, and you don't give that person the right measurements of what you have used. It's not going to make sense. If you want that, that person again to get the same results as you got, it means that you have to give the person the right recipe. And I'm not coming for anyone over here, guys. I know a lot of us, even me personally, I was there. I was there, but currently, if I'm going to be cooking something and I literally want to attain the same results as that, that same other person, I have got the inspiration deep cook. I really need the recipe. I really need the measurements. If not, then it is going to be hard for me to obtain the same results that that person got, you know? That's why uh, I just felt like it was important for me to talk about that because in some of my videos, especially the older videos, you know, people would come and comment that like Tanya, where is the recipe? We need the, in the measurements and all that. Right now, I understand that it's important. By then, I never understood that it's important. But again, I'll not include them, of course, in my description or anything like that at least for now uh currently i want to do my evening skincare routine as 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 fast as i can but i want to just remind you that i'm going to be using the almond shea bed body uh body milk lotion if that makes sense body milk lotion or body lotion two of two of any of the two of those words i'm also going to be using my organic extra virgin oil over here this is a body whip and lastly i'm going to be using my natural roses 99 percent over here so let me pop on this then have something to eat because actually today i'm having a video going up i have edited all of it but it needs me to go through through it this the third time to confirm that everything is right then after i can convert it okay okay so let me So you guys, this is how uh, my evening is going. For supper, actually, I'm going to just have these uh, eggs over here. These are eggs with flour, with flour. And I, I love already to spice them up with a little bit of uh, tomato sauce or TS. I'm also having a black tea cup over here. And the tea currently I'm obsessed with, I think I told you in one of the other vlogs, it is the one from the Chinese store. Uh, in Nakasero, it actually the way how they make this, I think I think it resembles the way how they make pizzas, you know, uh, flour in eggs, then other ingredients. Yes. Okay, so good morning, guys. Actually, it is the next day. Currently, I'm rushing out. I want to go to the pharmacy because I need to grab some medication, and also today I have a very very uh, long day. You know, I have to be filming an I give video, I give I give TV video for Instagram. I also have to be filming a YouTube video for tomorrow. Yes, and uh, I've also, by the way, just uploaded a new vlog on my channel, and that is the morning routine video. So so if you have not watched that, please go watch that. I'm going to be leaving it in the description box below and hopefully also up here on the card. Yes. So let's go out right now. By the way, I love this purple shirt very, very much. Yes. By the way, I'm wearing this purple shirt and down just a pair of, uh, you know, skinny pants. Uh, you guys, the weather today is really very, 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 very nice. And I really love such days when the sun is really, really shining, but not so, so much. I love this very, 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 very absolutely much. Oh, by the way, that's why I feel like uh, the weather for Kampala or generally Uganda is very, very uh, good given, you know. So today morning it was really, really trying to rain. But now it's currently around, I think, 10 or 11 and it's actually shining, you know. So this is me for that day. And those are the birds saying good morning to you. So you guys, actually I want to first of all say thank you to every person who has been trying to adhere to the SOPs for COVID-19 in Uganda currently. I think we are in the fourth week of the second lockdown and the numbers has actually reduced very, very much. The number of uh, people who are getting infected has reduced very, 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 very much, guys. The people who are um, who are losing their lives or dying have also been, of course, uh, been reducing, if that makes sense. And actually, it goes back to us, the citizens. We have tried our best, and I thank you very much on that.
so you guys actually finally back from the road and i'm going back home right now uh i wanted to just say that uh medication is expensive medication is really expensive currently i don't know why it's either the pandemic or anything like that and i remember here in in uganda or in kampala most of the people they do self-medicate themselves which is very very wrong you know you already need a diagnosis in before you medicate yourself so i found a case at the pharmacy where i was uh, buying medication or supplements i was supposed to be buying a person had uh, self-medicated herself with antibiotics so uh, she got infected by the virus you know and uh, now the first line of medication that has to revive his health back is no longer responding you see so the antibiotics initially which she was using using i think they are the ones which uh, actually altered the immune system and she cannot uh, currently use the medication in, in order for her to get you know a little So currently I'm organizing to film. I think my lens is dirty. Let me try to clean it so that you can see me in 1086p. Hey guys, good evening. Uh, I'm just getting ready to go start filming. I have a makeup uh, video, a makeup preview, makeup testing I think would have been the best word to use. Um, for Ayocha Beauty and, and Cosmetic Company that I have to be doing today and uh, I just want to bring you along. Okay, so you guys, this is everything over here. I'm having two of my, uh, my ring lights. See that these are the smallest ring lights uh, I got on Jumia and uh, the tripod. I also got it from Jumia. Then down there, there are my brushes and down there I have my seat. So, Oh, hi guys, I uh, hope that you are fine, amazing, and all that other good stuff. Uh, I look crispy as you see over here. Currently, I want to just pop on my mask, you know. By the way, before even I pop on my mask, I want to say a very, very big thank you to every person who has been supporting our channel. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. We have been uploading back to back, you know, we are meeting with only 100 watch hours, you know, to say that we get monetized. I'm over the moon for that, but also uh, at my table there has been a lot of work i think that even tells from my background you know things are everywhere scattered everywhere scattered everywhere but hopefully today i think that i'm going to get some time and i organize this place but again i'm working hopefully i'm going to be showing you in a bit i'm working from the dining uh, area and uh, i'm uploading today's vlog later on so i'm going to just work on the the, the music then the thumbnail Okay, so you guys, uh, this is the nourishing Asia Berry Masik going on over here. As I told you throughout my morning routine vlog, I said that uh, I try to masik up once a week to just make sure that I nourish my skin because it's very, very important. Self-care is very, 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 very important. And of course, I've also learned this uh, with years and with time. Yes, by the way, I love the feel you get with this. This masik, I love it very, very much. It is parted with a lot and a lot of juices, which are important to keep your skin nourished and all that other stuff. By the way, if I've not talked about where the masik is from, it is from Ayocha Beauty and Cosmetics Company. I'm gonna be leaving all their information in the description box below, but just talk to talk a little bit about them they are an online uh, beauty and cosmetic company which specialize in bringing you affordable and yet authentic makeup products so uh, they also offer makeup bundles to makeup artists then on top of that they can ship you any makeup product from Europe here into Kampala Uganda yes I love this very 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 much so make sure that at least you pass via their WhatsApp shop number. I'm going to be leaving everything, of course, in the description box below. Okay, so you guys are uh, currently, I want to continue doing my skincare routine. My mask is finally off. As you see, my skin is glowing. I try to do mask at least once a week. Because if I don't do it once a week, uh, not if I don't do it once a week, but if I take a lot of time without doing it, my skin is very, very hypersensitive, you know, and it's now used to that nourishing part. 
pampering so uh, I always do it not from a bad heart or from a bad place but from a very good place so currently I want to moisturize my body my body I'm going to be using my fruit of the okari I'm almost done as you see I'm almost done I feel like Fruit of Wokari is one brand that uh, currently, not co-currently, but consistently make amazing products, especially for uh, people who have a skin such as mine. I don't know if that was right English, but I just feel like they make good products for my skin and people who have a very hypersensitive skin such as myself. I brought out of products from Wokari. I have a girl from Wokari. I have a bath salt over here again from Wokari. I have a scrub from Wokari. I have an oil from Wokari. So just know that Wokari is one uh, brand that really makes for me amazing and yet very, very affordable products. And of course, you can grab their products, I think, from Chikuvo, a lot of uh, stores, for, a lot of uh, Maduka, Ebiduka. Was that right? English. A lot of shops in Chikuvo, which are cosmetic shops, they do sell these products. So you guys, uh, I was just chatting with my sister over there. You guys, by the way, if there is only one thing that we currently talk about in this house, starting from my mom, my sisters, my cousins, you know, uh, some of my brothers, not all of them, it is beauty stuff. So she was just inquiring from me to recommend for her in a treatment because she wants to wash her hair. She has just unplated her Ghanaian braids, which I did for her. And I think I showed you the sneak peek on my Insta story. By the way, if you're not following me on my Instagram, please go follow me over there. I'm very active. Yes, so uh, currently I want to just go show you where I'm working from. My hair really is a mess. Can you see this? I really need to go have a haircut. Like I'm one kind of uh, I'm one kind of a person who really doesn't want to maintain a lot of hair on my head because I don't know, I just feel like I don't have the capability and the energy and where I am currently in my life being in lockdown I don't want to grow a lot of hair because I know the effort and the energy really a lot of hair needs so hopefully today evening I'll go and I have a haircut either today or tomorrow because currently it's around I think uh, 10 and uh, yeah hopefully I'll try to fix it somewhere so you guys, uh, as I told you, I'm currently working. This is my Kamini workstation going on over here. Currently, I'm reading the Karahari Typing School for Men. And these are all the video ideas that currently I'm working on for this week. So the vlog that is going up today is over here. This is the vlog actually that is going up today. It's a vlog about uh, what does 100 uh, US dollar get you within Kampala. And I think by now you would have seen this. By now, if you have not seen this, please go watch it. I'm going to be leaving it in the description box below. But yes, I also received a lot of... Uh, I'm trying to mute. I'm trying to mute it. But yes, I, re I received a lot of love and support on this vlog. I worked on this vlog with my little sister and uh, we enjoyed creating for you this video and the feedback has been so amazing. It's almost, I think, in 200 views and I just appreciate you guys a lot for supporting the little man here. I appreciate you. By the way, that's my sister over there. Yeah. Yes, so I'm uh, still telling you, currently I'm reading the Karahali Typing School for Men. Hopefully I'll do, uh, I'll try to talk about this book. It was recommended uh, to me by one of my girlfriends and uh, my tablet over here. I use the tablet most of the time to read, uh, to do more scripting, to not... Uh, black, uh, an empty cup of black tea and um, a, a power cable or a power supplier with chargers and all that other stuff.
Okay, so you guys, uh, someone might ask me, Tanya, why didn't you use a border border? Even myself, I do fear border borders because of the pandemic, you know. So one of these days, uh, if it's a walkable distance, I would rather walk. But it's a very steep hill. Let me show you the hill that I have to take in the next few, uh, two to three minutes, you know. So you guys, uh, actually, I'm finally back home. This is how my haircut does look like. I feel like uh, he also did a pretty good job today, fading the lines and defining the the four the forehead, a chain, if that makes sense. I really love it very very much. And today I went for a slightly lower cut than the normal that I'm used to. But yes, I'm finally back home, and I love this very very much. We are going to be rocking this, I think, for at least two weeks. I think you know but I love it very 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 much actually it's around six in the evening but even it looks to be around uh, something like four and it is six six sharp I think hi guys uh, I think this is the third tw second day and I have not tuned in again so today I was filming a house tour with my sister over here not a house tour but what 120 US dollars get you in Kampala, Uganda, you know? So, my sister over here, Shippa, come say hi to the peeps. Come say hi to the peeps, you know? She has been my she has been my cameraman for the day and we have toured the whole of this place. Guys, can you see the lighting? This property is 120 US dollars. Can you believe? Can you believe, you know, it is such a beautiful place, you know, having this huge window here, a second huge window over here. It has two amazing bedrooms, as you see. This is the first bedroom, all the kids' bedroom going on over here. There is also another bedroom here, which happens to be the master bedroom. Yes, over here, which is also very, very huge, like very, very huge. Can you see this? It is a very, very huge, huge, huge bedroom for 120. I mean, the whole property is 120 US dollars, but guys, this is such a big, big space for that money. I also wanted to show you the bathroom. Yes, so this is the bathroom and I feel like it is also such a big, big space, you know, coming with a bathtub down, coming with that toilet stall or seat, you know, coming with, a, you know, a sink where to wash your your hands and where to do your makeup, do your skincare, watch yourself in the morning, you know. But actually, this is the kitchen area going on over here. It is also pretty, that is dark. Uh, this is the kitchen area over here. It is also a pretty, pretty big space, you know, pretty big, pretty big uh, with these cabinets, which uh, just pull themselves back, coming with a seat for the stove, of, not for the stove actually, for the cooker, if that makes sense. It also comes with this huge window over here and also very important the cabinets where you can put or your storage place where you can put uh, your things you are using to cook and to you know prep your food and all that other stuff so we toured this property today and we'll be seeing that vlog as i told you i'm not very certain when because my my uh, uploading schedule currently has been you know i try to be consistent especially throughout last week but this week i had to take two days off you know, because I, I was just feeling a burn out, but hopefully getting back to bed onto the phone to edit the vlogs. And also I want to say that thank you very much for all the love and support on all my vlogs. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I received a lot of love from the vlog, which I did for how much money so far I've been able to make from YouTube. Then on top of that, uh, there is also the other vlog of uh, there's also this vlog of morning routine you have also been loving it and i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart oh you guys i'm really really tired i don't know if it's it's 
I'm the only YouTuber, I think that is right English, who really sets out day after day to do this work of YouTube and just feel so excited though uh, it is a very, very tiresome job, you know. Actually, it's a very, very, being a YouTuber is a very, very tiresome job that a lot of viewers actually they don't recognize. Uh, housing in Uganda, I just feel like it is one thing that is very, very affordable, especially currently. I know some people cannot afford certain properties, especially, oh guys, today it is shining. But what I was trying to say is that I know some people cannot afford different properties because of how much they are. But again, there is a lot and a lot which is affordable in Uganda, at least compared to other East African communities, because you cannot tell me that that property is 120 US dollars. I know there are properties even in the country which are around 1000 US dollars, but guys at least you know that is affordable for a person who is traveling to the country either who is coming here to stay for some few two weeks or three weeks or a month you know it is really very very affordable it is really in a very very quiet place you know it is a very quiet place and on top of that in a very very wonderful neighborhood near to Entebbe uh, near to the Kampala Entebbe main road you know I'll just close off this door Okay, so you guys, uh, it finally comes to the conclusion of this vlog. Thank you very much for watching the video. I appreciate from, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to follow me uh, on all my other social media platforms. My Instagram, my Facebook is finally back on to the Mugendo. I also appreciate that very, very much. It is also underscore Tanya Nishailok. Hopefully, I'll leave everything in the description box below. Don't forget to check out Ayocha Beauty and Cosmetics Company. Also, their information is going to be linked again in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.